Hello everyone. In this video we will explain the model of multiple resources to you with an everyday example. Imagine you are driving home from work. Then your phone vibrates. Eager to see who texted you, you are taking out your phone, read the new message and answer it. While doing so, you don't focus on the traffic, which results in you not seeing the red light. This situation is dangerous. But why can't we cope with multitasking? We will explain this with the model of multiple resources. The model created by Christopher Wickens has three dimensions. The first dimension is divided into two stages, perception and cognition and a select and execute action, which is the reaction. Let's put in our example, but without you hearing and texting on your phone. You first watch the traffic and see a red light which belongs to the perception and cognition stage of the first dimension. The reaction to the red light is you are braking. Now that we added our actions to the cube, the second dimension comes in. The second dimension describes how input is processed. It is divided into spatial and verbal processing. Let's move on our example in the right place, to spatial. Now to the third dimension, it is for the modalities. These show into which perception channel your attention is divided. This model has three channels, visual, auditory and tactile. While watching the traffic and seeing the red light, visual modalities are used. The actual braking is a tactile modality. Now that our actions are sorted into our model, we can add the actions of us hearing our phone vibrating, taking it out and writing a message. As you can see in the model, hearing your phone vibrating doesn't interfere with any previous added action. But taking your phone out and writing a message does. It interferes with watching the traffic on the visual modality channel and on the tactile one with braking. They are also both reaction and both in the spatial process channel. This interference shows why multitasking is hard for us in some situations. We can't pay 100% attention to both actions, so don't text and drive. 